If you use DaVinci Resolve to create your effects and edit your videos, you probably know the feared and complex Fusion tab. And many people that start on DaVinci Resolve try to dodge this interface to facilitate the editing process. However, in this video, I will explain the Fusion tab basics for you to start using it in the right way. This is the Fusion tab interface. We have a bunch of panels that I will explain a little bit more in the future like the inspector, nodes, the manina, and of course, to start the media pool. In media pool, you have access to all of your imported media, which could be videos, images, logos, and texts. The first thing to do is select your media and drag it to your nodes panel. As you can see, it creates two nodes, media in and media out, which represents the beginning of your clip and the end respectively. Not only that, the media in is the video that you imported from the Fusion tab, and media out is the output, representing all the changes and effects you were supposed to create on Fusion tab. But there is another way to send a clip to Fusion tab, in cases where you already start some editing, like cutting the clip or color correcting it. So, move to the Edit tab, right click on your clip, and create a new Fusion clip. Now, you can move on to the Fusion tab. All right. The nodes panel is the main interface component. Here, we can add the nodes that contain the raw effects we need to construct our compositions. An essential thing is this line that connects a node to another. It must be connected. If it is not, the effects won't connect with the output, so no visual modifications at all. Here, we have the most common nodes to add text, painting, color correction, blur, and some sort of selection tool, and more. I'll grab the glow node and drag it down. Remember what I said, it might be connected. So, delete this line by just clicking on it, and link the media in to blur, and blur to media out. As you can see, we now have a blur node attached to our native clip, and you can adjust the blurrinesses from the inspector panel. All the modifying options that appear in the inspector are related to the node you selected which means all these options are to modify blur because we are working with this blur node. Look, if I increase this value, the images become blurry, and the blend is more about the concept of agglutination of the elements in the image. If I unlink the nodes to media in and media out, the effect disappears, but all the changes I made are still here. To see the effect, I just need to connect again. By the way, to optimize the time, if you want to add a node between these two nodes, select media in and click one of these tools here. Look, it is already connected, it saves time, and you can do this as many times as you want. Of course, this bar here has limited node options, and we want to dig all the possibilities from Fusion tab. If you press Shift and Space, you open this panel that contains all the native DaVinci Resolve nodes. There is a lot. You can sort of compose every effect by just combining these native nodes. As I said, the variety is impressive. Color compressor, color corrector, color generator, glow, masks, and trackings are some of the available tools. Before I start to run over the monitor options, it is important to say that it's possible to add another media to your nodes panel. I recommend using merge node for that, but I'm not seeing the other media. Right click on your second media, fill, and select one of the sites to view your image on the monitor. Look, we have now both images, which creates the possibility to add both simultaneously. Right below your monitor, there is some sort of ruler that demonstrates the frames throughout the entire video. It helps a lot to create keyframes. Right beside the media pool panel, there is another effect panel that is somewhat more organized than the shift in space panel. We have some sort of divide categories on tools and open effects, templates that will simulate some equipment or situation, like adding this binocular vision or some noise and even texts, and finally, LUTs. Each of these has a prefab pack of different notes that can help you with long compositions. As I said, it's always good to save time in the edit process. The last thing I want to show you is keyframes. Keyframes are likely to be used if you want to insert some nodes in a certain part of the video and to smooth the effect with the transition. I will add a blur node though. I want to insert the effect right here in frame 20. In the Spectre panel, I will modify all the things I want and create a keyframe by just clicking on the set of diamond here. You might create a keyframe in all modifications you did. All right. 
this will be the final effect. But now I want to set a frame to start blurring it up. Back up the video and minimize all these modified values to their native values. It creates a new keyframe automatically. As you can see, the transition is smoother. And before the 10th frame, the effect does not exist. And to do this in the end, it's the same process. All right, of course, it's a basic video and I will not dig deep on fusion tab variations or notes. However, you, with this video, became capable of starting doing some creations with this powerful DaVinci Resolve tool.